Right, let's take the car out for a bit of a spin. Well, we're not really going to take it for a spin. We're going to take it out of the frame or out of bounds. So, making a start. First things first, we're going to come to the Layers panel here. We're going to use Command-J, Control-J to duplicate the background layer. I should also point out I'm using Elements 10 here, but you can follow along with this in other versions of Photoshop. So it's exactly the same in CS and all the other versions. Right, so there it is. We've duplicated the background layer. Next thing we're going to do is select the car itself. Now to do that, we're going to come over. We're going to pick up the Quick Selection tool. We're going to come up. It's the second icon in, the Add to Selection. That's the one we're after. The brush I've got, you'll notice it's quite a small brush. In fact, it's a very small brush. In fact, it's a 35 pixel brush. If we just take a look, there it is there. Hardness is set to 100%, so it's a hard edge brush. Spacing is all at default, and there it is. The only other thing that I've got set here is the Auto Enhance, because it's an automobile. No, it's not. It's an Auto Enhance. Right, coming down, clicking down, and with the Auto Enhance, what that does is it just tends to sort of work out exactly where it's going. you notice I'm coming around this very, very quickly, and you know half the car's already done. Zooming in, using Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar. One thing we, we have to be careful of is we've got little bits like this coming around here, so just swipe over those and just make sure you've got all these in as well, otherwise you will be left with holes in your picture, which... Uh, won't do. So just coming around like that and there it is coming to the tail of the car just coming over this area here. Another wheel could do there nicely. Just quickly looking around you can see those little bits there. Right, let's zoom in and have a tighter look around the car. Wing mirror, yep handy. You can see who's behind you. Coming in, you can see the way that drops in, the auto enhance working its way there. Coming across the roof line, you'll notice the way it just tends to drop in a little bit. So just coming on the inside there, just pulling it out a little bit, working its way through there. Just a little bit on that, and you can see the way it sort of thinks, hmm, I think he's after, yeah, that's, that's what he's after. After this bit as well. Yeah, that's, thank you very much for that. Right, coming through. Just doing the same sort of thing, just bringing it along there, just waiting for it to work its way through. And if we just bring it across. This is the whole idea. Use a small brush, it does a much better job. Right, come into the tailgate here. Oh, you notice there's the other little bit. I'm just going to quickly click on the black areas, just bringing that through like this. Round we come, and down. Yeah, not done too bad a job there at all just out onto that part. Yep, that'll do nicely. A little bit more around the tyre there, because it would help make a smoother ride. And, uh, whoops, missed the tyre out completely. You see where it comes over the edge there? Just bring the brush out. You see with the brush I've got the plus symbol, because we're using the add to selection. Now if you press and hold down that alt key, see the difference it makes? Press the alt or the option key, it becomes the subtract from selection. Now we can just sort of click down and let it work its way in. You can see the brush thinking to itself. I think he's after that color pixels. And through like that looks pretty good. Let's zoom up just a little touch to bring that into place there. Obviously, the, the, the better the selection you make, it's gone on the outside again. So just pressing that Alt or Option. Just bringing it in, that's better. The better the selection you make, the better the picture will be. Coming up, I want to knock a hole through here so you can see the road behind. Pressing Alt, Option, clicking down. There it is, selection made. Right, very, very small one up here, so let's zoom right into that area there. Brush a bit big. We're going to use the left-hand square bracket. That's going to make the brush smaller. Press that Alt or Option key again. You get the minus clicking down. And I'm just going to sort of drag it around. Whoops. Now, you see, I didn't hold that Alt or Option key down. That's the reason for me showing you that deliberate mistake. You have to hold the Alt Option key down the whole time you're doing that. There it is there. Now, using Command-0, Control-0 to go to Fit on screen. And there it is. There is our car selected. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Refined Edge. Now with Refined Edge, when this opens, click on so we can see it on the Quick Mask selection there. Right, I've got everything set at the moment to the zeros. That's the Smooth, the Feather, and the Expact, Expact, <laughs> Expand, Contract. Yeah, Expact. Combination of the two words. 
bit a little bit like chillax, isn't it? Yeah. Right, coming through. Love these new words. Right, coming through. Let's click on the first one here. This gives us a selection. I tend to start off at the bottom one. Why do I start off on the bottom one, I hear you say? Well, let me just show you this. If we grab hold of this, if I whack this all the way up to plus 100, watch what happens. You'll see the selection jumps out. If I drag it down to minus 100, watch what happens. The selection jumps in. Now, I want to tighten up the selection, so I'm going to quite literally just bring it in a small amount, just minus 5, minus 6. We'll just tighten up the selection. That should be pretty good. Right, now as far as the rest is concerned, I'm going to click on this end one here. If I click on this, you can see we've now got a black and white mask here. The white being the card, the black being the background. With this, I tend to use the smooth. Watch what happens with the smooth. As you bring your cursor over, it actually tells you down the bottom what's happening. But as you bring your cursor over, you can see it's telling you what it's going to do. It's smoothing out the edges and removes those jagged edges. And you can see I've got some jagged edges across here. If I pump this up like that, you can see the way it smooths it out nicely. If you pump it right the way up, you can see it smooths out nicely. But just something in that area there would be pretty good. Just back a little bit. That looks pretty good. So we've taken the smooth to 21. We've taken the expand contract to minus 5 feather. No, I don't usually feather. The reason why I don't like to feather too much is if you do this, if you start feathering, let's bring it into about 2%. You can see the way it just sort of blurs the edge. You tend to get a little bit of halo in. If I do feather, I tend to just take it to half a pixel, something like that. So it's uh, 0 0.5. And there it is. We're going to click OK to this. You can take a look at it, of course, and just see the various, you know, go through it, take a look. Yeah, that looks pretty good like that. Click OK, and there's our selection. Command J, Control J. We have now duplicated that selection. We've taken the car and we've popped it onto the new layer. There it is there, and if we just zoom in, let's take a look around. You can see it's done a pretty good job. We're in at 200%. It's done a pretty good job right the way around the car itself. Right, Command 0, Control 0 to fit on screen. Let's take a look at the next stage. Let's switch this layer on here. Let's make sure we're working on this layer here, which is layer number one. Right, coming up, up we're going to pick up the rectangular marquee tool. Going to come down and going to make a selection, something in that sort of area. That would be pretty good. Can move it around because I've got the first little icon press there, which is just the, the standard selection, new selection. So we can move this around, that looks pretty good, but we're going to move it around a little bit more. We're going to go to Select, Transform Selection. Now this is going to put the Transform tool around our selection. There it is. Right, bring the cursor out. You'll notice it's got that sort of bent arrow look. Bring the cursor in, you'll notice you've got that arrow head. Bring it inside, so you've got the arrow head. Right click, you've now got a menu. Perspective is the menu item we are after. Now with perspective, if I click in the top corner, it's going to bring the opposite corner in at exactly the same amount. So we can bring it in like that. Coming down to the bottom, we're going to click on this. You can also lift it up a little bit. I'm going to drag it like that. And if you right click again, you can go to free transform. You can perhaps bring this up a bit. Something like that would be pretty good. I want to keep the circuit in there a little bit and uh, just right click again perspective and bring that in a touch or two just want part of the road there so we can see it coming around brilliant right press enter on the keyboard click on that little green tick do whatever you have now got a selection on the selection we're going to drop down and we're going to put in a layer mask that's this one here click on that and there it is. You can see we've now got our car coming out of the image, out of the frame. Taking a look. Next thing, background. If I just switch this back on, it looks like normal. Right, what I want to do now is add a new layer, but underneath the layer we're working on. Hold down Command or Control, so holding down Command or Control, dropping down, clicking on this one here. Now because you're holding down Command or Control, the new layer has been added underneath the layer, layer you're working on. If you didn't hold down Command or Control, it would put it on top there. So there it is. Let's come across. Let's click in the foreground color. I'm going to select the color from the road. That'll do nicely and click OK to that. Pressing X on the keyboard. 
So we've now changed it. We've now got white as our foreground color. Going to click in this, coming up, and select the color from the car. Something like that there looks pretty good. Let's click OK to that. So we've now got our two colors. We're going to come up, picking up the gradient tool. We've got the blue to gray. You can see there it is there. That looks pretty good like that. We're going to come in. I'm going to select my, yep, I'm going to select my linear gradient. Press, hold down the shift key. The shift key ensures that you've got a nice straight line. You can see if I release shift, what happens? So hold down shift, bringing it up to the top of the image there. If I release it, in it goes, and there it is. You can see the out of the frame effect beginning to take shape. Right, in the next video, we're going to take a look at taking this a whole lot further. We're going to be adding some shadows. We're going to give, well, you'll see in the next video. So I hope you join me for that. But until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.